So yeah, um, Squeak is a an, Im an implementation of uh, the Smalltalk language, and well, we are working with it. We love it, but we see that most people don't know about it or just don't want to um, to use it. So I would like with this talk, I would like to uh, to convince you that uh, Smalltalk is a really good language and that you should try to. Uh, you should give it a try because it, it will change the, the way you, you think about programming with objects. Um, so I said small talk is a little strange. This is 9080. So basically small talk is the, the system that brought uh, us the graphical interface, bitmap graphics, the mouse, menus and uh, whatever. So, uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, the, I mean, uh, what most people th uh, think when we say object oriented now is maybe Java or C or um, mostly statically typed languages, but uh, the, um, the actual object orientation um, uh, is not really like this. So in Smalltalk, everything is an object. So numbers are objects, booleans, classes are objects, methods are objects, even stack frames are objects. Those objects uh, live within an image. So when you run uh, the Squeak environment, for instance, it looks like this. And um, maybe to uh, to get the 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 idea a little better, um, you should uh, think of the Smalltalk virtual machine, not as a Java or Python virtual machine, but as a Xen or VMware one. You open an image, and you have all your tools, the objects, your application. It's just here, and when you're finished working, you just save the image. You can move it to another computer, reload it, it's there. Um, one point that plays a little against Smalltalk is that uh, its syntax is a little different, uh, but it's really simple. I guarantee you, you can learn it in 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, and in fact, this uh, method contains every uh, syntactical em element of the language. Um, so you have the basic, basic booleans. Uh, nil is the equivalent of is the um, uh, void pointer. Uh, you have the basic control structures, um, whatever variables, assignments, uh, literal variables, um, message sent, etc. Okay, so the rest of the language is more or less like uh, um, uh, every uh, uh, other dyna object, dynamic object-oriented uh, languages. So the method invocation is always uh, dynamic or virtual. Um, all methods are public. So in the tools, you can organize your method. So if you want uh, to, you know, to protect, then you, you just move the method away. Uh, instance variables are always private. Uh, so yes, that means you have to define your uh, your accessors yourselves. Um, the difference is that's just a menu, uh, choosing a menu item. item. And uh, this choice is uh, mainly for encapsulation. So the rest, it has single inheritance, garbage collection, etc. But maybe the most uh, important and interesting way is that uh, within the image, everything is written in small talk. So there is the VM, and the, the VM doesn't basically doesn't know anything. It maybe it knows how to display bitmaps uh, and touch uh, system stuff, but um, all the rest is written in small talk. For instance, the control structures are just standard methods. There is no 
um, uh, for loop in the uh, in the syntax. This uh, so, for instance, on, on all uh, collections, you have oops, eh, the method do, which will take, a, a we call it a block, but it's um, like a function, and it will apply this function to every element uh, of the collection. So, um, in this case, it's uh, using another method that is called on the number one, which will iterate from one to the, uh, the size of the collection, Etc. Etc. So this method, this method was maybe written in five minutes, sometime in 1978. In comparison, the recent addition to uh, Java, the the um, the quick for loop. Well, it was uh, JSR 201, and it took roughly two years uh, to implement, to add to the compiler, etc. So what do you need to uh, run a, a squeak environment first? Um, you need the, the virtual machine. So this is a, a simple program. And your, prog your um, code will live in an, in an image. So you have to start with a, uh, basically a, a base image that contains the compiler, the development tools. Uh, and the, all the collections, uh, uh, strings, etc., base classes. For historical reasons, um, the, the image only contains the bytecode and the data of the objects. So the, um, the text of the code is um, held separately. Um, the most part is inside the, the sources file, so you get this one with the, vi the VM most of the, of the time. And each time you uh, add a new method, define a class, this is logged in a changes file that records every uh, single modification you made to the, the source code. So even if uh, you hit a bug in the VM and um, the whole system explodes, you still have the, the changes file with the sequence of changes. Your code is in there, you can't, you can't lose uh, the, um, your modifications. Uh, and with this, you get a lot of tools. So this is ju just a, a sample. Um, we have a distributed version control system uh, in there. Um, anywhere you can type text, you can type a small talk like expression, select it, and execute it. So in this example, we ask for uh, to launch an explorer on the on this uh, on this collection, and then we can look. Uh, this is a point uh, which has an X and a, and a, and a Y. The character has a key value uh, 97, and there is a string, a symbol, etc. Uh, there are many other tools. For uh, one of the nice ones is. The method finder, so often you don't remember what was the name of a method because uh, in the base image, for instance, there is 40,000 methods, uh, seven, uh, several thousand of classes. So sometimes it's a little uh, blurry and you can, for instance, just ask, I want uh, to find the methods that when I send them to A, the small A, I get a big A in a, as a result. Just tap this here, type enter, and the system answers. Yeah, you can use first as uppercase, or first capitalized, or whatever. Um, okay, so yeah, basically you can uh, also select an, uh, an expression so here, building a, a rectangle from this point and asking for the area of the, the rectangle. Spawn a debugger from this. And so this is the frame for this expression. And I stepped into area, so you can just look the, at the code. So if there was a bug in this method, for instance, I could fix the bug here, save the method, and proceed. I don't stop the program, I just 
sometimes I just even code in the in the debugger if I want to. And uh, at the beginning of the presentation, I said stack, frame, uh, stack frames objects. Well, in the context of uh, the execution of this method, there is a value here, this named uh, this context. If you inspect this one, you get an explorer here. This is the object that sent the context of the method that invoked uh, area. You have a stack pointer, blah, whatever. Uh, and all those are also just objects. So uh, Squeak was released in 96 by Apple. The, um, ah, I won't. Uh, so it, it continues to, to evolve. Uh, basically, we are more or less making one release uh, um, per year of the, um, the base code. Uh, so the latest uh, 3.10 should be available really soon. Uh, this release particularly has worked on getting better tools, better modularization, to be able to have a really kernel image and only uh, what you want in, in there. And the whole process was based on uh, having only green tests uh, passing tests in the image. So, the <coughs> okay, so I'm done with quick now. I would like to, to, to talk about uh, uh, maybe the killer app at the moment, which is Seaside. Uh, and Seaside is a web framework that um, is often called her uh, heretic by, by its, de uh, his, its designers. Why? Uh, because it was targeted at making interactive web really interactive web applications and doing it in a really uh, um, quick way th so the um, uh, for instance you can uh, build nearly graphical interfaces in uh, in H HTML and have the, the back button work even uh, when you modify stuff and you have uh, parallel sessions and you go back and you edit and uh, Etc. So the the the, the state of the application can be backtracked uh, anyway, and you can compose applications really easily one in inside another. So the um, maybe the minor points are that the having pretty URLs, for instance, is possible, but it's not for free. You have to deal with it, which anyway you have to do. You have to design them uh, in. Um, uh, to have them work for you, and uh, the, the HTML code you generate uh, with Smalltalk, for instance. So there is a, a simple API to generate the code. The point is that this gets version controlled. You can modularize it in different methods. Uh, and this basically implements the counter that you see here. So if you press to uh, on plus and minus, it's incremented and, and so on. You can press the back button and it will work. And uh, yeah, so when you click on this link, this code here gets uh, executed. There is no, uh, you don't have to uh, uh, prepare a separate page uh, for displaying the results. It's just all in one piece of code. So this is what it would like in what it would look like in a debug mode. So you can uh, uh, see each part, each component in, on the page. And for instance, this button here, you could edit the CSS uh, code uh, linked to this element just from the from the browser. So you don't have to uh, to think about element IDs or or whatever. So the 2.8 uh, uh, release of Seaside has been done at the end of the uh, of last year. Um, it's faster by 50% maybe, uh, also lighter. Uh, it was optimized uh, for this. And the, the big news is that it's supported by the, the major vendors um, of uh, small talk impl implementation. So Syncom is, uh, uh, is one of the, the big uh, uh, enterprise systems. Uh, for small talk and gemstone is a uh, distributed object uh, database uh, if you really want go take a look at this because it's uh, uh, really impressive um, and 
for those of you that don't like uh, graphical interfaces and prefer to use Emacs, well, there is uh, an implementation uh, by under the, the GNU umbrella. Yep. So uh, GNU Smalltalk has a, uh, in its uh, version three, uh, has introduced a specific syntax that makes it easy to define classes and, uh, and methods in, uh, in text files because uh, the, usu the usual uh, small talk system, you j the classes are objects, so you just uh, click on the menu and you get a new class in the system, that's all. Uh, if you want a new method, the same. Um, and yeah, it has a, um, a nice uh, command line uh, uh, thing and it's the, um, the whole library of classes is uh, um, targeted at, at scripting so it's, it makes it really easy to, um, to automate stuff and to basically to use like you, you would use a Ruby or Python um, uh, on your machine. So yeah, and there is uh, packaging format that makes it easy to uh, load the uh, code in your image. And yeah, the, the maintainer just told me uh, last night that Seaside was ported uh, uh, and works on it too, so that's really cool. Um, okay, so uh, basically we wrote uh, the books quick by example to uh, um, explain all the tools, the syntax, how you work with the system because it's, it's different and uh, uh, well, when you don't have uh, anyone to explain you, it's a little confusing. So the book is available for free uh, on the website. You can download the, the PDF. Uh, if you don't want to print it yourself, you can buy it too. Uh, we make barely no uh, profit on this, uh, and the profit goes to uh, the, um, the, the small talk user group to organize conferences and promote uh, uh, um, small talk uh, events. Uh, so yeah, this is the Squeak website. There is a channel on Freenode. Uh, if you need help or want to discuss things and the Seaside website, the, small talk, the GNU Smalltalk website too. Thank you.